Okay, so that's my neck pillow, so that my neck won't get sore. The only problem with it is, you see it's got a cover, so I can take the cover off to wash it, because it gets really hot in here, and that can get really sweaty really fast. And since I can only bathe every three days, you can see how it might get really funny really quickly. It's very well made. Okay, so it's got this cover. And then this is the inside, and you can't really tell. Can you hear it? It's stuffed with buckwheat, which was very popular back in the Martha Stewart days. Oh, maybe 10 years ago. Problem is, of course, that I can't wash the actual pillow because it's made of buckwheat. And even though the seed is very old, it would either get nasty or it would sprout. So the only way to wash the interior of this would be to open it up, take the seeds out, wash the interior, which is just cheap nylon anyway, and then put it all back together. And that's a job. I have enough jobs. So today I went to the thrift store as I do every Wednesday because they have, pardon the expression, Wacky Wednesday, where something is always half price. Plus the local thrift store give stuff away. That's how I got my barbecue and some furniture and a bunch of stuff. Videotapes, books, measuring cups and storage containers and baskets. I got a bunch of baskets and some dolls. They were all free. And then of course after holidays like Valentine's, Easter, Halloween, Christmas, etc. After holidays, all the decorations from that holiday are free. Free! I got a bunch of Christmas stuff that, yeah. Like, I have a new napkin holder. I have new um, shelving and all kinds of stuff. It just happens to, oh, storage jars. Tons of those tins that, like, the really big ones that, like, can you see me? Wait a minute, where's it? Look. The really big ones that hold popcorn and cookies and stuff like that. I've got a huge collection of them. They were all free. And then I also got, and I'm hanging this behind my filing cabinet that's right here. I've got about a foot of space um, for little bags and stuff. I got this. It looks like it was handmade. Can you see it? That was free. So then I have, like, my... Um, video camera and other stuff that I want to grab fast, a basket with my gloves in it, things like that, on my way out the door kind of things. I even got this, this was in with Christmas stuff. I like ducks and chickens and geese. I had ducks and chickens and geese. Oh, I know, if I were in an affluent area where there were lots of options, I would probably boycott that thrift store. Because it's operated by the Catholic Church, and um, I'm pretty sure they're not very, especially in this town, progressive about things like um, women's body autonomy, contraception, abortion, sex education, queer rights. I'm pretty sure that's true. And they've got a big-ass honking picture of Mother Teresa, poverty pimp. I've lived in a lot of rural towns in New Mexico and elsewhere, but it's one of the best-run food and clothing banks I've ever seen. And they will give you a voucher so you can furnish your entire house if you need to. If you've had some sort of an emergency or something, like a house fire or you were stranded or homeless or something, they'll take they'll, they'll set, set you up. And they have good fresh stuff. I don't know where they, some of it's probably second harvest, but I think some of it's just donated by local people. These were from 75% off at the local store. Where you see the stuff I got there? Oh my gosh. Stuff for the garden and out in the yard for, I mean, practical stuff. You know those swimming pool noodles? They're made out of this squishy, foamy stuff. They've got a hole in the middle of them. They're about five feet long. It's for kids to beat each other up in the swimming pool for some reason. I got seven of them. I had 30 cents a piece. And I strung them like beads on my garden hose so my garden hose can't crimp and it can't freeze and crack and break during the winter. But you know, I don't have running water. I just have the garden hose. I can step on them, and it won't hurt the hose. Okay, so I was there today. I showed you my pillow. 
So I found this thing. It's, let's see. There it's got snaps. And then it goes around. And I recognized right away that it was to wear around the neck. I will show you. And I thought, you know, that beanie pillow I've got, it moves and falls down. When I get in bed, it's hard to find it. It's aggravating. And what if I just had this thing? Yeah, sure, it's not as big around. It doesn't have as much radius as the other one. But it sticks to my neck, so I can't lose it. So wouldn't that be smart in the winter time, not in the summer because it's suffocating, but in the winter time to have this would be around my neck all the time and it'd be easier when I got out to pee and stuff, got back into bed, I wouldn't have to go, oh damn, where's my neck pillow, oh damn, where's my neck pillow like I do now. So I went ahead and got it and it was 50 cents. And then this evening I was messing with it because it's got several snaps, so I was adjusting it and goofing with it to see how it worked. And I found that it has nothing to do with a snap. It's just there. And I thought, well, that's a funny looking logo because it's kind of rubbery. And then I thought, you know what? It looks like one of those buttons like they put on stuffed animals now. So I pressed it and it clicked. I said, hmm. And then I started feeling around and I felt a box in the middle. And I opened up the box and it was a battery case. Listen. Can you hear it? It'll, one of the batteries was loose. I put it back in. It's a massage pillow. You know, I killed myself working outside yesterday. I mean, I was doing stuff that was much too hard for me to do by myself. <sighs> moving the trailer, moving bed frames, uh, all kinds of stuff because I'm getting things ready for winter. Uh, I can't tell you. It goes through my head, my neck. My upper back, my shoulders, all the way down to here, all the way down to, yeah, you can see that. There. Well, I should turn it off, save the batteries. Free batteries, too. I'm just going to show you some of my stuff as I dig it up and can find a camera that's useful. I got a little webcam today. I don't know if there's any software, hard software online available to it. And it's too dark right now to read what brand it is and stuff. But if anybody has brilliant ideas of what I should do, I'll try to get a model number and stuff. If you can help me, because this costs 50 cents, dude. And it's not, it doesn't have a busted wire like the one I'm filming with now. The one that the dog chewed through, remember? It would be nice to have a camera that was more sturdy to take out with my netbook to film stuff outside besides taking this one. This one makes me nervous. It already tells me that it can't detect a microphone even though it's recording sound. And I notice right now the controls aren't working. See? Look. Um, I can't click on the controls to change anything. It doesn't matter whether it's on standard screen or widescreen. It doesn't matter. Well, I was hoping to get a less fragile microphone. I mean, cam you can't see me anymore. Camera to take out on the road. So... If anybody has any brilliant ideas how to get that antique web camera working, let me know. I'm going to turn this off because the camera's all screwed up and I don't know where I am. So I just wanted to show you 50 cents free massage. Oh, bye.